Hello, George Romanich here. In today's video, we are going to examine how pressure changes with the altitude in an atmosphere in which temperature linearly decreases or linearly increases with the height. This is a very important question because kindly remember that in the standard atmosphere that I described some time ago, temperature either linearly decreases or linearly increases with the height, depending in which layer of the atmosphere we are situated. For example, in the troposphere, which is the first about 10-ish kilometers from the surface, temperature linearly decreases. In the stratosphere, it linearly increases. It has different rate of that increase, but it linearly increases. So if you want to understand how pressure changes in such an atmosphere, then it would be a good idea to watch today's video and uh, the concept that I will present today. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's start by sketching our problem. Here we have surface of the Earth, height z equals zero, and we have some temperature T naught at the surface as well as pressure P naught. Somewhere above, let's say over here, we have height z, temperature T, and pressure P. Clearly, height is increasing like so, vertical axis. Now, what we will assume over here, that temperature from T naught to T has this trend, linearly decreasing, or there is no problem, it can also linearly increase, like so. Whether it is decreasing or increasing, the trend has to be linear, in other words, straight line. Under this assumption, we can say that temperature at this height z is T0 minus gamma z, where gamma is the slope of this line and it is called temperature lapse rate. Gamma is dt over dz. From here, we can see that if gamma is positive, then temperature decreases with altitude. If gamma is less than zero, then temperature will actually increase with altitude. And finally, if gamma is equal to zero, then temperature does not depend on height, and we have isothermal atmosphere, which we covered in one of my previous videos. Now to see how pressure will behave as a function of height under this assumption, we will start by considering hydrostatic equation. dp over dz is minus rho g, where rho is air density and g is gravitational acceleration. I will combine hydrostatic equation with the equation of state that pressure is rho r d t, where r d is gas constant of dry air and t is temperature. Here we are assuming that air is perfectly dry. If we want to include moisture, then temperature should become virtual temperature, but I still didn't talk about that subject, and I will talk about that later in my playlist on uh, atmospheric thermodynamics. Until then, let's just assume that air is perfectly dry. Expressing rho from here and inserting in the hydrostatic equation, we get that dp over P is equal negative G over R D D Z over T, where T is function of Z, of course. We can further write D P over P is minus G R D D Z over T naught minus gamma z. And now we need to integrate this. 
So here we have pressure P0 at the height 0 to pressure P at height Z. To solve this integral, we will introduce substitution. Let's say some u is equal t naught minus gamma z, which means du is minus gamma dz. Left side is simply logarithm p over p naught equals Notice that this minus will cancel with this minus, so I will have g over r d because dz is du over gamma, so that gamma is constant. It can go in front of the integral and my integral becomes du over u. And what are the new limits? Well, when z is 0, u is t naught. And when z is, well, z, then u is simply this, t naught minus gamma z. And now I simply solve this integral without any further ado, and I get that, because this is a logarithm, that p is equal p naught t minus gamma z uh, over t naught and all that to the power g over gamma r d. I really hope that you can see how I got this expression. When you solve this integral you will get logarithm of u and then you insert the upper and lower bound which means you will have a logarithm on both sides of this equation. You can run with exponential function, and as a consequence, you get this result. Of course, we can further simplify this by saying that p is equal p naught. Notice that t minus gamma z, oh, sorry, here is t naught. Uh, t naught minus gamma z is simply t of z. over t naught to this power g over gamma r d. And these two are of course the same expressions and they tell us how the pressure changes with height in the atmosphere with the constant lapse rate. Now I also hope that you will remember from my previous video that we introduced some special gamma, which is the autoconvective temperature lapse rate, and it was G over Rd. And this is the temperature lapse rate that needs to be satisfied in order for density to be constant with the height. And you can see that this gamma auto appears here. If gamma is equal gamma auto, then pressure will linearly decrease with the height. You can work that out from this exponent over here. However, because I am so nice and kind, I prepared for you a graph of three situations that we analyzed in a previous three, four videos. X axis is temperature in Kelvin, Y axis is height in kilometers. Notice that we already covered the case of autoconvective temperature lapse rate. That's very fast decrease of temperature with height. Today we cover this case when we have some generic gamma, not necessarily gamma auto. And here is 6.5 kelvins per kilometer. And this value is important because this is called temperature lapse rate of dry atmosphere or dry temperature lapse rate. And this is in accordance with our assumption here that air is completely dry. So if there is no moisture in air, then temperature would naturally decrease for 6.5 kelvins per kilometer. And in previous videos, we covered also the case where gamma is zero 
and that means temperature is constant with height and we call that isothermal atmosphere. So you can see here these cases in, in this figure. But more importantly, when we combine this figure with our knowledge how pressure changes with height, pressure versus height, you will see that if atmosphere is autoconvective, pressure linearly decreases with height, and that's what I discussed here when I introduced gamma auto. If we have isothermal atmosphere, we saw many times it is exponential decrease following natural base. And if we have constant lapse rate, for example, 6.5 kelvins per kilometer, then pressure also decreases with height, but following this power law that I derived here. In the analytical form, this would be a beautiful summary of what we, of what we derived so far in isothermal atmosphere where temperature is constant. This is how pressure decreases with height separate video on that, where we have constant lapse rate, this is how pressure decreases with height, current video. And if we have constant density atmosphere, this is how pressure decreases with the height. Now I have a separate video on constant density atmosphere, but independently, we also got this expression in my video on hydrostatic equation, when I derived how pressure increases with the depth in the, in the oceans. And it makes sense because ocean is water, density is constant, so the pressure follows the same trend as it would in a hypothetical atmosphere with constant air density. Now we covered many different situations, isothermal atmosphere, temperature constant with height, as well as in today's video, temperature is linearly increasing or decreasing with the altitude. Your knowledge on this subject should be quite remarkable right now. In the next video, we are going to go wild. We will consider a hypothetical situation in which temperature exponentially decreases with the altitude. And then we will see how pressure will respond and what will be the trend of pressure with the altitude. Trust me, we are lucky that in our beautiful atmosphere, temperature does not exponentially decrease with the height. If it did, I can quite confidently say that 99.99999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999